There's a saying that childhood cancer is a family disease that lives inside the body of one child. Every child battling cancer has a team behind him or her, helping them through appointments and the chemotherapy and other treatments. News 19's Brittany Lake has a story of one Winona County fighter who's facing his disease like a warrior. Six-year-old Julian Francois can pack a punch. Very nice. Next. His razor focus in karate class is just one side of his personality. Very focused, um, very detail-oriented in the movements. Very spunky. <laughs> he's very sweet, um, but he definitely has a personality. <laughs> and then punch. Julian's strength Very good. was tested when he was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia at the young age of three. I kind of always tell people, you know, there's like a blessings and curse to each age with getting cancer. You know, he was so young that he's not gonna remember most of it, but he was also at such a young age that it was really hard to explain why I'm hurting you and why I'm making you have bad symptoms and side effects and, you know, getting poked all the time. The pain doesn't seem to bother this karate kid. He also was super resilient. Like, I think he did phenomenal through treatment. That, that new move we're doing. Even so. his sensei couldn't tell yes. that he was sick. I didn't even know, actually. I didn't know. He, he's a tough kid, and just he just focused and did what we're doing, and it was building his confidence, I think, and that's focusing on maybe what was. He just wasn't feeling well, but he's focused on the movements, which is really great. This is our new normal, and we just have to do it every day and keep moving forward. Normal for Julian is chemotherapy, blood transfusions, lumbar punctures, frequent hospitalizations, and even more frequent clinic visits. Open wide. Okay, close. After three long years of treatment, Are you good? Good. He is finally punch, in remission, <laughs> kicking his wow, cancer in the, mirrors. well, you know what. Other way, other way. Now, Julian and his family receive help from the Children's Miracle Network, CMN, a nonprofit that gives families things like gas cards and free meals in the hospital while their kids are sick. And you can help kids like Julian by uh, donating to the CMN Hospital's Radiothon. It's going on Friday from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. and then again on Saturday from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. You can listen on Kix 106, Me TV. Magic 105, all broadcasting it, and you can call the number on your screen if you would like to contribute.